Hi, I am Mohammed Asif. Um, I have observed that many users are facing the server name not showing issue in SQL Server Management Studio 2018 and above. I will fix this issue in this video. SQL Server Management Studio is not showing the server name because SQL Server Management Studio is only a management studio that manages the SQL database but our system has no instance of any database. To fix the issue, we would need to install the SQL Server after installing the SQL Server Management Studio. Let's open Google Chrome and search Download SQL Server, not SQL Server Management Studio. Open the first link to Microsoft website. Scroll down. We need the Express Edition of SQL Server to run all the services. Click on the Download Now button aligned below the Express description. It will download a 6.2 MB file. Open the downloaded file. Select custom in the installation type window. Select the location where you want to store the setup files and click on install. It will download around 800 MB files from the internet. It will take some time depending on the internet speed. After the download is complete, it will open an SQL Server Installation Center window. Select the first option on the window that is New SQL Server Stand Alone Installation. It will open SQL Server Setup window. Check I accept the license and click on the next button. I don't need SQL Server product updates, therefore I am unchecking the updates. Click on next. Wait for one minute to prepare the setup file. Click the next button. Here you can select the features that you want to use. I am leaving them as default because I will need all these services for my projects. You can change the installation root directory. Click on the next button. Leave the name instances as default. Click on next. I am leaving all the next options to default. Click on the next. Click on the next button and the final installation will start. The installation will take around 15 to 20 minutes depending on your system specifications. After completing the installation, you can close this window.
dates of the issue should be fixed now as we have installed the sql server which is required for sql server management studio to run the instance let's test the sql server management studio now click on the drop down icon against the server name and select the browse options in the servers window double click on the database engine and then select your system name in the drop down we have successfully connected sql server management studio to the sql server instance We have just installed different SQL services using the SQL Server setup file. You can view all the files here and delete extra SQL Server files if needed. You are watching this video till now means you have liked the video. It will be highly appreciated if you can subscribe and turn on the notification so you will be the first to receive notifications for such upload content. If you have already subscribed, you can ask questions and share your suggestions in the comment section below the video. Thank you for watching this and I hope that this video will have helped you in fixing the SQL Server Management Studio issue.